Arsenal fans, good afternoon and welcome to the Royal Spa Centre here in Leamington. And we start this afternoon's proceedings with three six five-minute round contests. This is the first of them. And uh, Cat Weasel already taking the mickey just a little bit out of his opponent, his first time on television. Not Cat Weasel, of course, his opponent there. Uh, Steve Peacock, his name is, originally from Paisley, Scotland, now residing in Windsor. Got a blonde hair about, isn't there? Six five minute rounds, two falls to the side. Cat Weasel in the gear on the left. Beard, extraordinary looking gear and dark blue tights. He fools around for quite a bit playing to the gallery before he gets down to serious rustling. But when he does, he can wrestle. The referee, Kashmir Singh, Jim, Pakistan. Oh <laughs> no, no, no. This boy, known as the Gay Lord, <laughs> Steve Peacock. Oh, oh, blow this. <laughs> Steve already complaining to the referee about this antics of, of uh, Cat Weasel, and I don't blame him. Full Nelson now to Steve, and how do you reach it? three bouts that I was mentioning earlier there will be a king of the ring contest when all six contestants Hello. concerned in those three single bouts will be let into oh, the okay. ring separately <laughs> and the last one out will be the winner as long as there's no disqualifications or injuries of course during the three initial solo bouts Start. Uh, all right, ref, all right. Well, this is an extraordinary start to an afternoon's uh, professional wrestling session. Watch it, I've only got two. So a form of a loose single leg Boston to Peacock. And he gives up on that. I think because the referee broke the touching the rope. Just one minute to go in this first round of six. Cat and the turning. No, no, no. Well, Steve Peacock quite happy with that little move. The first time he's attacked, really. Right on the bell. Okay, break it up. There he 
as Cat Weasel. Still, uh, <laughs> still kidding, playing to the gallery like mad as he always does for a start. Complaining about something I don't know quite what. <laughs> Second joy, round two. Round two, five to go. Well, this is really an extraordinary bout we're starting off this afternoon with, but quite fun nevertheless. Cat is a comedian against new lad Steve the Gaylord Peacock. The smaller on the left there, we're giving away half a stone. To the cat, Kashmir Singh from Pakistan, the referee. And pa the crowd here at the Royal Spa Centre in Leamington really quite enjoying this start off to the afternoon's proceedings. Leg spreads now, vicious ones. Well, he shook hands. In the meantime, of course, <laughs> Cat Weasel really laughing. This time he needs it, does he? For the moment. I wouldn't trust it now. <laughs> 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 Still laughing, Rory will laugh as he sees his opponent tear across the, the ring for no reason at all. <laughs> and a folding press, Cat Weasel. There it is, the first one. And your master of ceremonies for this afternoon, laughing just as much as everybody else, Brian Crabtree. And one minute, 40 seconds of the second round with a leg snatch and shoulder press. The only fall goes to Cat Weasel. And Cat Weasel reminding us all that the leg snatch needs a great deal of strength. <laughs> He's even tickling the MC now, isn't he? Really polite. <laughs> and he lets it go as he gets halfway through. Second away, round three. And here we go for round three. Great fun being had by all at the moment. Except, I think, possibly Steve Peacock. There's a procession going around the ring. <laughs> Still can't reason laughing. He's got a tooth missing, which I've never noticed before. See if you can catch him smiling. Yes, there is a tooth missing there. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Well. Come on, boy. back some wrestling. Now. Not really a bit of a response. It's on the hands. Same effect. Come on, go, Pat. Oh. Hey. Come on, where are you? And the head man. Now we're getting some wrestling. Strang low, but neatly out. Backhammer there by Steve Peacock. First press. Remember, Cat Weasel back to canvas there. Leading by one fourth of an inch. He's got it back in now, anyway. <laughs> so it's not only just one tooth missing, he's got some other dental trouble, obviously, which uh, he soon uh, got back into his mouth very fast as soon as it fell out. <laughs> not unusual, of course, for a wrestler to have uh, a couple of teeth missing in the front. Hey, you kill her. Listen, 
Get up, Get up, Get up, Get up, Get up, Get up, Stop on his foot! Oh! <laughs> 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 Again, poor Steve picked up, gets it. Great stuff, this. Everybody really having a ball here in this packed capacity Royal Spa Centre here in Lamington. They're loving the start here. What, what a preliminary contest this is turning out to be. <laughs> Everybody with a big grin, including the master of ceremonies sitting right next to me along the road, the timekeeper. Really laughing at this. <laughs> he just stopped as he heard me say so. But poor Steve Peacock not finding it all so funny at all because he's the one that's being made a fool of a bit. Here. He's one fall down. He's trading by one fall already, remember, the man on the deck. Back to canvas. <laughs> well, thank heaven for Steve Peacock's point of view. There's less than a minute to go in this round. Unfortunate for the boy, his first uh, television appearance. And he certainly has been at the wrong end of this all the time so far. Nicely out. Well done. Thirty seconds. <laughs> now the experience of Ken Weasel coming in a bit now. Seems to have forgotten the comedy for the moment. He's going in hard with those head mares now. Almost on the bell of round three. At least Steve Peacock broke when told to as the bell went there. He broke him each. Let's follow him over to the corner if he's allowed to get there. Steve Gaylord Peacock from Paisley, Scotland, originally now residing in Windsor, 12 stone seven, and is a judo brown belt. He's a defense man in ice hockey, and he trains with the weights. Natural blonde hair, incidentally, that. And he turned pro in 1975. is here. Meet the fighters, meet the trainers, and meet the girls. Cage Fighter, the new series, Monday to Saturday at 10. Rage. Not looking good, is it? I don't know. We got more going out than we got coming in. Stop. Don't panic. One simple call to Debt Buster Loans could sort out all your financial problems and cut your monthly bills in half. Yes, half. They could take all your debts, credit cards, loans, overdrafts, everything, and give you back a Debt Buster Loan for up to £75,000. It's quick, easy, and you can do it all over the phone or online, whichever you prefer. They don't want your life history, what you do for a living, employed, self-employed, retired. They don't even mind if you have a poor credit rating. All they ask is that you can afford the repayments. It really is as simple as that. So to see how you can cut your monthly bills in half and keep more money in your pocket, ring Debtbuster Loans now on 0800 169 9505 or apply online. Debtbuster Loans. They can turn your life around.
If you feel refused credit elsewhere, nobody tries harder than Welcome Car Finance to get you a newer car. Every year we approve thousands of people for car credit. Many of our top name cars are under two years old and all come with an independent quality and safety check and full MOT. Call Welcome Car Finance now and we'll give you at least £1,000 for your old car, plus £250 cash back. Call Welcome Car Finance now on 0800 040 9000 or visit our website. Not again. Need help? Oh, I can do it myself. Oh. Call now for your free, new, easy-use PC guide from Witch. It covers all the basics and more in plain English. And because it's from Witch, you know it's advice you can trust. It's new. Call 0800 380 380 for your free copy. Hey! That's 0800 380 380. That must be a total pain. Yeah, and the rate is increasing. Why don't you get rid of it? Don't think I haven't thought about it. Just cut it up into little pieces and problem gone. Then get a Capital One card instead. Is paying too much interest a real headache? Switch to Capital One and get 0% on balance transfers until the 1st of April 2008. Your order, sir. Grilled woodpecker. <laughs> Whoa, what's in your wallet? When is a good deal not a good deal on car insurance? When I'm not rewarded for my careful driving, just because I've been on Mum's policy. At Direct Line, all named drivers can build up a personal no-claims discount to use when they need a policy of their own. And as well as great prices, when you insure more than one car at your address, we'll give you an extra 10% discount. That's better. Visit directline.com or call 0845 246 0016. Direct Line. A good deal better. Seconds away, round four. And we're going to, I hope, see some more of Steve Peacock, but not against a man who takes the Michael out of him a little bit uh, right from the start of round one. But round four starts, the second half of the bout, and he's trailing now by one fall from this guy in the rustling gear on the left there, which is... I've never seen a lot. I mean, it's, uh, it looks like a dress or kind of thing. I don't, Green boots, a sort of blue and flowered dress, and dark blue tights. Really a crazy get up there. Uh, Cat Weasel of Hexport, Doncaster. Oh, missed time that one. And the base of the spine drop. Onto his knee. Doncaster follow apart from all his kidding, really starting to teach the boy now a bit, but he's coming back fast. Nicely turned, but spun out the breeze. And it's still going in fast on the double arm, and he keeps away from the ropes. He can have him in trouble. He has, and there's the equalizing call. He's made it. Well done, kid. In round four, in one minute, 30 seconds of the round, Steve Peacock gets the equalizing pinfall. In one minute, 30 seconds of the fourth round, the equalizing fall goes to the Gaylord, Steve Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. He can now hold his head up high because he's got the equalizing fall against a much more experienced man. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two to go. One fall each. Now, can the smaller one of the two, Steve Pick? Oh, not crazy about that slap. In the, uh, the pattern trunks there and the odd boots, one yellow and one green. Oh, no, come on, boy! Here we go! Come on, boy! There come you, man! Really, I did that. Come on, then! Let's go, boy! Let's go! Come on, boy! Come on! Let's go, now! Somebody's going to get tired soon. (laughs) 
The idea, of course, that is to meet the flying tackle and try and catch a man unawares, but it didn't work that time. Let's see if it does this. <laughs> Get out of the way, meet me there again. Over the top, folding first from the top, and quite easy, quite easy. For the experience of Cat Weasel in 1 minute 25 seconds of round five, but a great fun bout to start off the afternoon proceedings. I think you'd agree. And 1 minute 25 seconds of the fifth round. The winner, Cat Weasel.